Finally, one more thought. Learning from our mistakes, or maybe not. All of us can make mistakes, and sometimes when we go back over them, we cannot believe what we were thinking, or maybe what we were not thinking. And the big banks certainly are no exception to this rule. There's the London big whale fiasco at J.P. Morgan that led to the end of senior executive Ina Drew's 30-year career. I accepted responsibility for the events that happened on my watch in one of the portfolios in my division. And there's Deutsche Bank in 2018 mistakenly transferring $35 billion to Eurex Clearing, which was more than the total net worth of the bank at the time. Germany's biggest lender has sent about $35 billion to an exchange as part of its dealings. They already have problems with risk management. <laughs> this is not a headline. A flub, you want a to flub read. is a polite way of putting it. Yeah, $35 billion just sort of walked out the door. To Citi, in the height of the pandemic, paying over $500 million to Revlon creditors despite a fight over the funds, money that it could not get back. Citigroup, it unexpectedly lost its legal battle to recover half a billion dollars it mistakenly sent to Revlon lenders. It's the latest blow to the bank that's been forced to answer to regulators and tighten its internal controls. Mind you, this all comes after Congress decided to make sure those banks were paying attention, giving us all the protections of a law called Dodd-Frank. Because of this law, the American people will never again be asked to foot the bill for Wall Street's mistakes. So it must have been particularly painful to Barclays this week when it found out that it had a teensy-weensy clerical error in selling more in structured notes than the SEC had given it permission to sell. You see, it had asked for and received the okay to sell $20.8 billion worth of these securities. But apparently someone wasn't paying attention and kept selling them way past the point they were supposed to stop, like to the tune of $36 billion leaving Barclays with an estimated loss of $591 million. I just think it's just a simple filing error. They, they forgot to add an extension to the shelf. Or, and, and that's very embarrassing, um, you know, logistical error. The financial hit is bad, but, you know, fairly manageable. Uh, it's more the reputational hit. It may be April Fool's, but this one is no joke. Certainly not for Barclays management. Let's see what we can learn from this one.